A very warm welcome to the learning home. My name is Vimal Kumar and I will be bringing you through the today's discussion. Uh, today we are going to cover the 10 basic and most commonly used uh, formula in uh, Microsoft Excel beginner series. Uh, so let's get started and the first uh, formula what we are going to demonstrate is the sum. You can use this by two different ways. First thing is the using the the addition symbol. Uh, so before we start using Excel formula or putting the Excel formula we have to do first thing first is the entry of equal sign and here we have done the equal sign and uh, suppose we want to add this uh, four numbers so what we're going to do is we're going to click one by one and then plus sign. Uh, we are going to repeat same thing and you can see there is a there is an identification that which all numbers we are selecting you can differentiate with the colors here and when you enter you will find that all the values are added over here in this cell you can also do the same thing by using the sum uh, function so again enter equal uh, sum and when you click it, uh, there is a lot of options related with the sum is here. So you can click it here, then it is asking which all numbers you want to add. So you can direct Excel to add uh, those four numbers. So you select this and then drag it down. And then you leave the mouse and then uh, put a, close the bracket and enter. If you don't close the bracket also, it will close it automatically. So that is, uh, you will see again the same value but the different approach. Uh, now we will try to use the multiplication. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these two numbers. So again, enter and uh, first cell and enter the multiplication symbol that is star mark here and then click the second cell, you are done. Similarly, I'm going to use the uh, division. So first thing first again enter sign and uh, You can divide any numbers with any number. So suppose I'm going to do the B2 divided by B3 So that is all you have to do uh, These all are uh, finding a maximum minimum and average value in the whole range or any range I mean you can change decide you can you, best on your the situation you can change the range so what I'm going to do there is a there is a uh, there is a functionality called max in Excel so I'm going to use that one max and you can see the option is already there I will just click it and then it is asking similar like some which all which all numbers you want to consider so here I'm going to consider all numbers and just enter equal so that is all about the max uh, minimum and average has a similar way of doing things so what you can do you can uh, you can you can you can drag it also and then you can change it but let me show you one thing when you drag it what happens in excel consider that the range is also changing so what you can do you can change the range either by b10 to you can type it just like b10 b11 to b10 so you can see that it has gone further up and B3 either you can change it or what you can do you can go there and ensure that there is a, there is a uh, arrow pointing up and downward. just select and pull it further forward up. So that is one way of uh, selecting a range again here you have to change the max to min and you can see the minimum number is 180 and maximum value is 260. So similarly approach uh, uh, average. So what I can do earlier we have faced by dragging the issue, right? So what we are going to do, we are going to copy it. We'll copy it and paste it here. You see the range has not changed, but I have to change the formula from mean to average. So here I'm going to put average and we are done for this. The average is 1 to 4.44. Uh, second one is the count. How many numbers are there? That's the count option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same approach, but I'm going to change the formula count. 
and then I am missing the inter sign. So you can see there are nine numbers. Uh, ABS returns uh, absolute value. If it is a positive value, negative value, it will remove the uh, positive or negative. It will return only positive value. So here we have one positive value. Uh, I'm using ABS. You see, there is an option also return the absolute value of number without any without its sign. So what we are going to do is this and asking which number then I'm saying this number and it will return the removing the sign in front of vanity and return only positive value. Uh, this one is the sign functionality and sign you have to take note sign only return uh, uh, if you click it it will say number. So basically it is asking value in radians. If you put a, a angle here it will give you a value but it will be a wrong value so let's say I'm putting 45 45 and see what the value does it return it is returning a value but it is returning the radian of 45 so what I'm going to do I'm going to convert angle 45 into radian 45 so there is I will insert another uh, option called radians and then this is the angle we are talking about so Suppose we want zero rate, zero angle, you can see the zero value. Trim is basically, it's an option to remove the spaces between the uh, alphabets. So what I'm going to do here is the one option where the, where the space is quite large. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove that by using the trim option. Trim. And uh, just into the cell, you will see the all the spaces between here customer and uh, there is a few spaces which is already removed uh, this is all most functionality you can do it from here also like uh, there is option called maximum minimum sum so what you can do once you select a range you will show those values here also so it says average is 2 230 let's say i'm selecting everything so that it will reflect similar approach average is 1 to 4 which is 1 to 4.4 here count is 9 count is 9 here minimum is minus 80 minimum is minus 80 maximum is 260 260 and sum is 1120 here is not same because we are considering a smaller range so that is all for the uh, today's discussion.